In this lecture, we're going to learn how to create navigational routing in React application. So I'm going to create a new folder inside this source. Here I'm going to create a new folder and name it router. And inside this router, I'm going to create my different files. So I'm going to create a new file here and say route.js. I'm going to just create this component and import this component inside my index.js file. Let me get rid of this component from here because I'm not using it. So I'm going to say here import. Let me just create here a functional component, react functional component. I'm going to use here routes component. So I'm going to copy it, specify that here and specify from dot forward slash then specify the router folder name and specify routes. If you want to change the folder name, that's upon you. You can specify any name to the folder as well as to this file name. That's upon you. Just out of that, I'm going to just copy this route and paste it here like this. Just out of that, let me save this file, close this component. Now, as you know, in the previous lecture, we already imported the React Router DOM browser router component and use this component as a wrapper. I'm going to leave this as it is, just save this file back to the router.js and here I'm going to create the navigation menu. Now, let's suppose you have a navigation with home, category and product. What you want? When the user click on the home button, you want to open the home page. When the user click on the category button, you want to open the category page. And when the user click on the product page, you want to open the product page. Or you can say product view. So to create that, I'm going to use this route component. So I'm going to simply first create few functional component inside this file. So at the top, I'm going to create few functional component. If you want, you can create a dedicated files for these components as well. But to understand well, I'm going to put all these components inside this file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply say here constant home is equal to and here I'm going to pass a function. As you know, I can create a functional component like this as well in React. So I'm going to just create a variable home and specify a function to it. And inside it, I'm going to simply say div and in this div, I'm going to say h2 heading tag and say home. So this is my home component. Just out of that, I'm going to create next component which is category. So I'm going to say here constant category is equal to and pass here a function. And here I'm going to just copy this JSX and paste it here and change this home to category. Do the same for the product component. I'm going to just copy this, paste it here and just change this category to product. I'm going to get rid of this category and here I'm going to say product. Now let me create my navigation menu inside my main component. Now as you can see this is my different views. This is my home view or you can say home page. This is my category view and this is my product view. So I'm going to just display all this view when I click on the link. So inside this parent component or you can say inside this route I'm going to simply create a navigation menu. So I'm going to say here nav and just specify here class name and here I'm going to say now bar now bar light I'm going to use the bootstrap classes here you can notice these are the bootstrap classes if you open the index.js I already have bootstrap imported inside my application so I can use different classes of bootstrap inside this route so I'm going to just use here now bar and now bar light class of bootstrap just sort of that inside this now here I'm going to create ul tag and specify class to it. So I'm going to specify class now, now bar now. And inside this UL, I'm going to create a light tag and specify here anchor tag. As you know, to navigate user to different link, we can use anchor tag. So inside this anchor tag, here I'm going to specify forward slash. This means I want to navigate user to the home page. Just for that, inside this anchor tag, here I'm going to say home. Just copy this li tag, paste it down here and just for that I'm going to specify here category and I want to navigate user to the category page. So I'm going to say here category. Do the same for the product page. So I'm going to just copy and paste this li tag here, change this path and I'm going to say here products and change this category to products. So what I want when I click on the home link, I want to navigate to the home URL when I click on the category. I want to navigate to this category page and when I click on the product, I want to navigate to this product page. Let me save this file. Now as you can notice, I'm going to have a compile error. 
React Router DOM does not contain a default export browser route. As you can see in this index.html, I use here browser route. Now this module not export this browser route as a default object. So whenever you use this object, you need to wrap this object inside the curly braces. So you need to just wrap it inside this curly braces like this. Save your file back to the browser and reload it. As you can see, you have your result what you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these links to navigate through different views. Now when I click on the category, you can notice the URL is changed and I'm going to have the category path. When I click on the product, I'm going to have product path in the URL. But whenever I click on this anchor tag, the browser quickly reload. You can notice here. This is not the feature of single page application. The single page application reload only once. So this is where we can use routing. So what I'm going to do is inside my component at the top, here I'm going to import React Router DOM module. So here I'm going to say import in the curly braces. I'm going to simply say link. I'm going to import the link object from this module. So I'm going to say here from in the single code, I'm going to say React Router DOM. Just out of that, just down here, instead of this anchor tags, as you know, the default behavior of this anchor tag is to reload the browser. So instead of this anchor tag, I can use this link component. So instead of this anchor tag, just down here, I'm going to just say link. And inside this link, I can say home. And to this link, I can pass property. Now, as you know, this anchor tag use href property to specify path to the link. This link component use two property. This two property is just like href attribute. This property used to specify path to the link. So I'm going to just simply specify here forward slash. And I'm going to get rid of this anchor tag. Do the same for this category. So I'm going to copy this link tag, paste it here and paste it here. And this time I'm going to change this path to category and change this text as well. Category. Get rid of this anchor tag. And then I'm going to specify here products and text is going to be products. And then get rid of this anchor tag like this. Let me save this file. Now when you click on this anchor tag, you can notice the browser is now not reloading when you click on the links. The browser only reload once when the application start. Now what I want when I click on the home button, I want to just display the home component. When I click on the category, I want to display home and category. And when I click on the product, I want to display home and product component. So what I'm going to do is just after this now, just down here, I'm going to use the route component of React Router DOM module. So at the top here, I'm going to first import that component. So I'm going to say here route. Now this component used to render if the path property matches to the current URL. Let me show you what I want to say. I'm going to simply call this route component. And to this route, I'm going to pass a property called path. And to this path, I'm going to pass here forward slash the home route path. And inside this route, I'm going to pass this home component. So I'm going to copy this functional home component and specify that here like this. And just after that, I'm going to do the same for the category as well. So just down here, I'm going to say route, just close it. And inside this route, I'm going to specify path is equal to and I'm going to specify path category and I'm going to copy this category functional component and specify that inside this route. Do the same for the product as well. So I'm going to copy and paste this line, specify here products, change this category to products. That's it. What I'm going to do is when the path of this link and this route is matched, then I'm going to render my component. If we find this property match with this two property, then it's going to call this component. So you can notice here this path and this link have equal path. So when in the browser, when you click on the home button, it will display this home component view. When you click on the category link, it will open the category component. Let me save this file. Oops, I think I misspelled something. Nothing was returned from render. Yeah, right here. I just need to add here a return statement or 
instead of these curly braces i can just simply pass parentheses like this so this component is going to just return this jsx without return statement let me save this file and as you can see you have your links and your view when you click on the home page you can notice you have your home view when you click on the category you will have your category view when you click on the product you will have your product view now you can notice whenever you click on these links the browser will not reload and you will have a different views in your browser this is the advantage of using single page application you don't have to wait until the page reload this will quickly change the view when you click on the links so if you want to navigate through different pages you don't have to reload your browser anymore so this is how you can create a simple navigation in react application practice with this code to understand how routing work in the react next we'll talk about how to create a nested routing in react application